Hi there folks, Andrew here at Chatfield. Today I'm super excited to be telling you all about a new feature we've just released called Actions or Button Actions. This is a feature that's been highly requested for quite some time. It's gonna be particularly valuable if you are a publisher or just anyone who is using external websites and links in their bot and you wanna be able to track users who are the most engaged. So the question is, how does this work? Where is it? What are the benefits? On the welcome message here, I'm going to create a text card, although this will work with anything else like a gallery or anything where you're gonna be using buttons. And I'll just type a simple message here, hi, right? Nothing spectacular. And then I'm gonna create a button here that will link to either another block or an external website. But the website piece here, I think, is the most valuable that you'll be using. So let's call this shop now. And let's say we wanna to link to a Shopify website, for example, where we are selling products. So what we can do here is go to the URL option and let's call this something like chatfuel.com slash shop. Cool, so this is what we've always had available in Chatfuel, but the kicker here is this add action button right here. And this is exclusive to pro subscribers, by the way. So if I click add action, now what I can do is set a user attribute only if the user opens this URL by clicking the button. So I can say something like visited page is true, let's say, right? And so now the beauty of this is, again, I have the ability to track who is most engaged, right? Are users just getting to the welcome message in this case, or are they not only getting to it, but they're actually clicking through, right? So this is amazing. And then what I can do as well is actually send a follow-up message after the user closes that window. And the amazing part about this is in the past, you would have had to do something like create a typing animation for 30 seconds or create a sequence and kind of guess when the user is going to enter back into the chat experience, but now you don't need to do that. It's only gonna send that message if the user has opened that page, and obviously they'll see it then when they close that website. So then what I could do is something like add another action, redirect to a block. We could create a block here that says something like thank you, and then on that thank you block, we could say something like, thanks for visiting our page, right? So now if I go ahead and test this out, I'll click test this bot. Okay, I'll click continue. And there we go, I'll click shop now. It's gonna open a website that doesn't exist. And once I do that, it says, thanks for visiting the page and I'm segmented in the background, of course. So this is absolutely incredible, super valuable. Again, one example of a use case for this is if you are a publisher, and let's say you send out a broadcast to all your subscribers with a new article and you only want to see which users actually clicked through and presumably read that article. Now that's possible. Now you can do it. If you want to take it a step further, of course, you could even go into the people tab and create a segment of users who are most engaged by listing out, you know, if let's say page visited or visited page is true then you can see a list of all those people. You can obviously do this with multiple attributes, create a segment of those most engaged users, create a lookalike audience if you're running ads. I mean, the possibilities here are truly limitless, but this is a really, really powerful feature that I know, again, has been highly requested for a long time. So hopefully you enjoy it, get some value out of it. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Let us know also how you plan on using this feature and enjoy. Again, this feature is available in the dashboard right now today. Happy botting.